What's up, beautiful people? As you know, Teen Mom OG producer Heather has been fired from the show. Prior to her firing, Heather was one of the most like visible producers of the Teen Mom franchise, right? Like she always found a way to make herself at home on the floors and counters and tabletops of everybody's houses. Naturally, we've all been wondering kind of why would they just up and fire Heather, you know, like, What's going on here? She seems to get along great with all of the girls and she was the most prominent at the time, meaning she was the best at getting them to um, delve into conversations that the, the show would want to use. So why, you know, why they pull the rug out from under her? And so while there has been no official messaging regarding her departure from Teen Mom, there have been quite a few extremely plausible rumors. So first of all, the Ashley claims that according to one of her sources, um, Heather was fired from the show for getting too close to Farah and breaking producer code. Naturally, you're wondering in what way she was too close to Farah, right? And so according to, you know, her sources, Heather would kind of sleep over at Farah's home every now and again, and that is what caused MTV to fire her. A lot of people, myself included, were absolutely not buying this story because it did not make any sense whatsoever when you consider the fact that another teen mom producer, Kiki, is the godmother to Tyler and Caitlyn's daughter Nova, right? So when you kind of try to weigh out which one is a, a more intimate relationship, one that crosses the producer versus cast lines a little bit more, I am more inclined to say that being a godparent to their children is a lot more personal than couch surfing on their couch every once in a while. In fact, Farrah's boyfriend Simon actually took to Twitter shortly after the news broke to claim that it was Amber who had gotten Heather fired. According to him, Amber was jealous of Heather Heather's close relationship with Farrah, and even worse, her grandpa fiance Matt felt threatened by Heather. You know why? Because he felt like Heather could actually see through his BS, and because um, Heather and Amber were once super duper close, remember, Heather used to call Amber Ambi, right? Um, he felt that because the two of them were super close, Heather might be kind of trying to talk some sense into Amber every once in a while, whether it's via the footage she chooses to use of Matt, or, you know, just chatting as girlfriends. And so he ultimately um, breathed down her neck so hard that she was forced to go to MTV and demand that Heather be fired. It's really sad to think that someone is just so allergic to telling the truth and is just of such shady, shady, shady um, character that in order to keep up with all of their lies, they have to isolate someone, right? Like Heather lost a job, her livelihood over Matt's lies if what Simon's saying is in fact true. What Simon's claiming actually does make quite a bit of sense to me because if you guys will recall, Heather Heather was a producer on site when Gary exposed Matt for hiding like 20,000 kids from Amber, remember? And then when the two of them got home and they got out of the car in the garage, uh, Matt was all like, I want all of you guys out of my house. Don't you ever come over here again. Shame on you for putting Amber through all of that stuff. Like he took that moment of his exposure of being a trash ass father in person and flipped it around to make, you know, the MTV producers, the bad guys to Amber, right? Like he kept saying, I can't believe they would do that to you, Amber, and on national television, no less. And we all know now, especially, that Amber Portwood is a really, really naive girl, right? And when you combine Matt manipulating her into thinking that Heather is against her, in addition to her seeing that Heather is also close to Farah, and knowing that Amber doesn't really have that many close friends, so she probably did take this a lot more personally than she should have, I could totally see her getting really pissed off and raging out at MTV, threatening to quit the show if they did not, in fact, fire her producer, Heather. Of course, Amber Portwood took to Twitter to deny the claims, tweeting, and I quote, why would I do that to her? I mean, I'm an ass sometimes, but I wouldn't really want her fired. Maybe if Simon and Farah didn't always party, then she would have been fine, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, you guys, for what it's worth, on Twitter, Heather follows Farah, her parents, her daughter, and her boyfriend, in addition to every other teen mom star with the exception of Janelle. And um, she also follows Amber Portwood's brother, Sean, but she does not follow Amber or Matt. 
What does that tell you about what happened there? And while Heather may no longer be part of Teen Mom OG, don't think she's just sitting at home crying over spilt milk because it seems like she and Farah actually have a project going on together that they're gonna be pitching to the network soon as evidenced by their Instagram photo together. Guys, this Heather Teen Mom saga has been a long time coming. So you just know that I'm absolutely dying to hear what you have to say about all of this. And if you've got any new tea that I've missed out on, leave all of your thoughts, opinions, and tea droplets in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. You can also like this video, subscribe for more. Feel free to share it with your friends as well. And follow me across social media where I love, love, love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.